Finally, the snow has stopped. What a winter wonderland, huh? It's beautiful, but I have to admit, I was getting tired of shoveling my driveway. How about you, enjoying the snowy weather? Mixed feelings, to be honest. I love the way it looks, but it sure does make getting around a hassle. Pauses, remember when we used to go sledding down that hill in the park? Oh, those were the days. It's been ages since we did that. I miss the thrill of racing down the hill and trying to see who could go the farthest. And then we'd come back home with cold, wet clothes and hot cocoa waiting for us. It was magical. Magical indeed. It's those little memories that make snowy days special. Pauses, you know, I was thinking about our college snowball fights. Those were epic. Oh, I remember those. We'd form teams, build forts, and launch snowballs like artillery. It was all fun and games until someone got hit in the face. Yeah, we had some casualties, but it was all in good fun. Snow has a way of bringing out the kid in all of us. It really does. And speaking of that, have you made a snowman yet this year? Not yet, but I'm planning to. I've got a carrot for a nose and a hat ready to go. Care to join me? You know, one thing I've noticed about snowy days is how they muffle all the sounds. It's so quiet and peaceful. It's the perfect time to take a stroll, just like we're doing now. No need for headphones or distractions, just the sounds of our conversation. Snowy days have a way of making you appreciate the simple moments. I remember, when I was a kid, my mom used to read me stories by the fireplace on snowy evenings. That sounds so cozy. Do you have a favorite winter book or story? The Polar Express was always a favorite. I loved the idea of a magical train journey to the North Pole. Oh, the Polar Express is a classic. The illustrations in that book are just breathtaking. Absolutely. And speaking of the North Pole, have you ever thought about going on a winter vacation there? I'm not sure about the North Pole, but I've always wanted to see the Northern Lights. They must be incredible in person. Oh, watching the Northern Lights dancing across the sky is definitely on my bucket list. But for now, I'll settle for admiring the snow-covered trees and rooftops. It's amazing how something as simple as snow can transform the familiar into something magical. It's like a reminder that nature has its own way of creating beauty. And on that note, do you have any favorite winter activities other than sledding and building snowmen? I enjoy ice skating, and when I can't make it to the rink, I'll turn our local pond into my own little ice rink. That sounds like a lot of fun. I haven't been ice skating in years. Maybe we should plan a trip to the rink together. That's a fantastic idea. We could grab some hot chocolate after and reminisce about our snowball fight victories. I'm up for that. Do you have any favorite winter foods that you crave during this season? Oh, absolutely. I love a piping hot bowl of soup, especially when it's snowing outside. It warms you right up. There's something comforting about a steaming bowl of soup on a cold day. Personally, I'm a fan of clam chowder. Clam chowder is delicious. And it's even better when served in a bread bowl. Now I'm hungry for some clam chowder. We should find a cozy cafe and grab a bowl after we build Frosty. That's a plan. You know, despite all the inconveniences that snow can bring, it has a way of making everything feel more serene and peaceful. It's like a temporary pause in our fast-paced lives. A reminder to slow down and appreciate the beauty of the world around us. It's a moment to stop and enjoy the simple pleasure of a snowy street corner chat. I couldn't agree more. Snowy days have a way of bringing people together, creating memories, and reminding us of the little joys in life. Well, it's been great catching up and sharing this snowy moment with you. Likewise, Sarah. Enjoy the rest of the winter, and I hope you and Frosty have a blast. You too, Alex. Stay warm and embrace the beauty of the season.